Hi. In today's video, we're going to be discussing uh, one of MuleSoft's deployment models uh, that is called Private Cloud Edition. Oftentimes, you will actually hear this referred to as PCE. So PCE is MuleSoft's deployment model that is going to be completely hosted on a customer's runtime. So in this case, it will have, in generally, it's going to be air-gapped, where you actually will not even have internet access to any of the runtimes or anything like that. So it's completely managed by the customer, where it will have both the management plane managed by the customer, as well as the runtime plane. managed by the customer. You'll note that this is the only deployment model that we have where the customer is actually manage, is, uh, managing the management plane. That adds some complexity, uh, some complexity, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But generally what we'll find is this is our smallest footprint for our deployment models. And the reason for that is because it is so complex you don't have you generally don't have internet access to to these things and it does take a lot of overhead from a from an operations standpoint so let's jump in and actually look and see what does a, a pce installment actually look like so firstly we're, we're going to talk about our customer data center so now the customer data center will essentially be able to be hosted in three different locations. So that's going to be on AWS. And then if we are hosting in just a, a regular data center, that can be hosted on VMware or just bare metal servers. Now, within the data center, we're basically going to have three different aspects that, we, that we're going to talk about today. Firstly, it's going to be where we're actually going to be hosting our runtimes. So the other piece to, to note with this is that the runtimes can actually be deployed anywhere. So it seems a little bit, a little bit confusing that the runtimes can be hosted anywhere, but the data center can only be on these three. But if we look at where our runtimes can be hosted, that could be anything from AWS, GCP, Azure, bare metal, or really anything else. So now we've got our, our, our uh, run times. The other piece, and this is probably the, the more complex of the areas, is really going to be our PCE. So this is actually where we're going to be managing our individual applications from so that we can make sure that we um, everything's running smoothly and we can monitor them and all those different uh, pieces. The last piece that's going to be required here is going to be our network file storage. And so this is really going to be our shared storage between all the different nodes so that we can make sure that when we are, are building this out, that all the nodes are going to be have the exact same data that's stored on, on top of each one of them. So let's start by looking at our runtimes and what that's going to look like. So as I mentioned before, we're going to have a multitude of different servers that can be deployed in any one of these AWS, GCP, Azure, anything like that. So we're going to have a bunch of different servers, and all these different servers will have any number of applications on them. So it could have one, two, three, however many we want to actually uh, put on these servers. And they could be different sizes, all different things. And essentially the idea behind that is these are all gonna be managed by our PCE. So moving over to our PCE, like I said, this is, this is where the real magic is going to be happening. This is the part that's unique from our, uh, from the private cloud edition from every other deployment model. The other deployment models don't have this hosted in a customer data center. So essentially what we have here is a series of nodes that will all 
uh, be deployed across uh, Kubernetes. And another thing to note about these nodes is that there is a requirement for the number of these nodes. Essentially, you can have a small deployment, which is going to have four nodes, or you can have a large deployment, which is going to be seven nodes. So it's either four nodes or seven nodes is really going to be what we're going to be what we're going to be dealing with here. Now, these nodes are actually much more complex than what we're actually looking at here. So if I were to blow that out a little bit and really show what one of these nodes looks like, the first thing that we want to talk about is going to be really our management services. And so this, you've heard me use that term before in other videos, where we talk about all the different server or all the different services that are going to be in other oper or other deployment models that are hosted up in Cloud Hub. So this is going to be 50 plus services that are going to be deployed to each one of these nodes by means of, of Cassandra and, and Kubernetes. So we have our, our management services here. Like I said, this is this is the, the really complex part because it's one small box here, but it actually has 50 plus components in there. And that will also include a database, database services, caching services, and some storage. So one thing to note, and we'll talk about this in a little bit, is this storage is actually synchronized via NFS across all the different nodes so that we can make sure that we have the same data that's going to be on each one of these nodes because they are going to be load balanced. The last part of our PCE node is going to be our op center. This is really where our administrators are going to be coming into the server or into the service to be able to administer uh, PCE. So again, this is going to be a blowout of just one of these nodes. And this is going to be on each one of the four or seven nodes that we have there. So now we've got these three different services here, but what we, the real question is how are they actually going to be communicating? So for that, we're going to make sure that we're, we're, we talk about, you know, a lot of the networking pieces of this. So firstly, I mentioned that the, the, um, the runtimes can actually be deployed anywhere. So, it's important that we have a firewall that's going to be in between the runtimes and everything else. Each one of these runtimes is actually going to be communicating through our firewall. Next, it's important that these runtimes are able to communicate with PCE. So we're actually going to have a load balancer associated here, and we're going to have all the traffic from the runtimes going through the load balancer. As I mentioned, all of these nodes are going to be exactly the same. So this load balancer will distribute the traffic equally in between each one of these nodes. And then to ensure that each one of these nodes are going to, is going to be in sync, each one of these nodes needs to be communicating with our network file storage so that we can ensure that the, each one has the same storage in, um, as the others. So from a high level, we've got our private cloud edition, which is generally going to be used by you know, some of our banking, financial institutions, and anything else is extremely conscious about, uh, about their security. Uh, the management plane and the runtime plane are both managed by the customer, which makes it one of our most complex um, uh, deployment models. Within there, we've got our runtimes that are basically going to be running any place we want them to be. We've got our, our private cloud edition where we're going to be managing them. And we've got our network files uh, storage to be able to uh, synchronize the storage between all of the different services. So with that being said, this is Private Cloud Edition. Thank you, and have a great day.